Hey guys, John and Michael here from TheRxReview.com and today we're giving you our final review on the Rogue S2 Ballistic Jump Rope, which he's showing you. There, and there. Wait, there too. And here. Okay, so it was late last year when Michael gave his first impressions of the Rogue S2 Ballistic Jump Rope. And it's been a long time between drinks, Michael, but you're finally ready to give us your final thoughts on the rope. Yeah, sorry guys, I went away for a while, so I was on a tropical beach, couldn't do double or triple unders in sand, so um, ah. you had to wait a little bit. Nice excuse. Um, yeah, look, in any event, I got this rope last year when I was in the United States. I think it was uh, $65 plus $4.95 shipping and handling, so roughly $70. Make it pretty much the most expensive rope on the market today. If I look at in the context of what I think are pretty much the three best ropes on the market, um, you've got the Rogue S2 Ballistic Jump Rope here. Um, this is not the one that I usually use, I forgot it today, um, but I usually use the um, RPM 2.0 um, and the my famous old school RX Jump Rope. Now, some people might say if you're old school, what happened to the Buddy Lee jump What rope? did happen to the Buddy Lee jump rope, sir? Buddy Lee was shit, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Maybe if you're doing something back in the old school, if you've got one, get rid of it. Sorry, Buddy Lee, you didn't move with the times. Okay, well, let's talk about the times right now. Three market leaders in front of us right now. Where does a rogue ballistic jump rope stack up in terms of these three right here? Look, it, it's a great rope. It's a solid rope. Um, a couple of things that, uh, that I definitely liked about it, um, what it has is it's basically adjustable. So if you just take an Allen key, one comes supplied. I lost that one. Um, you, you know, you whack it in um, the end there, you twist it, you adjust it with an Allen key. It's the same, you can do the same thing um, with the RPM. Um, the RPM on the side here, uh, you probably can't see that, I have to stand up. You can whack it in, twist it, adjust your length, you have to cut it. Um, the RX, um, you have to adjust it yourself. Um, sorry, excuse me, you don't have to adjust it. You have to actually, when you order it, you have to get it measured out, the, take your height and... Um, it's a pain in the ass, we all know how annoying it is. Yeah, you need, to, you need to make sure you get your right height and the, the rope length you, you need when you order the rope. Whereas these two, you can adjust them on the fly. And now, um, now one of the main features of the actual row jump rope uh, is how quick it spins, is that right? Yeah, well, going back to what you were saying before until you um, really cut me off, um, the answer to your initial question... Which uh, you took a long time getting you, by the way. I was getting detailed anyway. Come on. Um, the answer to your initial question is, it's a good solid rope. Um, however, the, the RPM that I usually use is a metal wire. Um, it doesn't have any rubber coating. This rubber coating on here, I found, adds a little bit too much friction in the end. Um, and so it actually means it's a little bit slower as it whips through. I mean, I didn't do scientific testing or measure the RPMs, but I just noticed for myself doing my own double unders and I do them quite a lot. It's one of the few movements I'm really good at. Um, pat myself on the back here. Mm, yeah, one, congratulations. Okay. Um, I, I just noticed that the RPM is pretty much out of all three of them, the fastest. So th while this was a good rope, um, considering the price point it was the most expensive, um, and you generally associate the most expensive item with generally the best. Um, I was a little surprised that it wasn't the fastest, for my opinion. Okay, so um, which is the fastest then? Without question, it's gonna be the RPM. I, I tell people time and time again, if you're doing any competitions, um, if you if you wanna beat dumbos like this and just a general workout where double ah. unders are included, um, so you don't have to buy them a beer, the RPM is, hands down from my perspective, the fastest rope on the market. Now that's not to take away um, anything from the RX or the Rogue S2 Ballistic, but I just personally think that the, um, the RPM 2.0 and even 1.0 are the fastest uh, ropes on the market. Okay, apart from speed, let's talk about the handles because we know they're worth a lot. Apparently they've got some, what, titanium special aircraft material in it or something, what is it? Yeah, these are made out of aircraft grade aluminum um, and Rogue say it's, you know, with them, it's all about the spin. I'll just take it up close here. You can, I mean, you can see these spin phenomenally fast. Um, Looking at the RPM, uh, it's like it's impotent and that doesn't go anywhere. And if we look at the RX, uh, if you just look at, that spins in a different manner. Um, it's all in the handles with them. I mean, looking at the, these are thin and black. Um, one criticism I would say, if you look at all three of them stacked next to each other, um, the smallest um, in length and in girth is the um, Rogue S2 Ballistic. Um, now, some people might not think that's an issue, but like I've got pretty average hands. If you actually had bigger hands, um, you're probably better off getting, like it would be better off if this was a little bit longer. Okay. The uh, RPM, while it, ha it had the length, it didn't have the girth. 
Um, the most comfortable in the hands are actually the RX. Like ergonomically, I feel yeah. that the best. Uh, but it really comes down to speed for double unders. That's what I'm really concerned about. And like I said, um, although those are all issues, it really comes down to speed and that's where the RPM wins. Okay, well then the final question, I suppose, you've got the three market leaders right in front of you. Which rope would you choose and why? Without question, it's gonna be the RPM. I mean, um, although it's not as, it doesn't feel as ergonomically great as the RX jump rope, the RPM is just hands down the fastest rope that I have come across. I mean, I'm not sure what it is. Like, it doesn't spin like the handles do in the, in the S2 Ballistic. It doesn't have the ergonomic design that the RX jump rope, but when you get, and I say this, if you really want the speed, you have to get it with without any rubber coating on it, just the metal wire. Um, that in the handles and the bearings that they have in it just means that the, the rope spins so much faster. I mean, I beat a lot of people in double unders purely because, um, not because I'm necessarily better at double unders, but I really think it's because I'm using just a better rope that's that much faster. And if, like I say, if you're doing any competitions, John, you'd be silly not to get what I think is the market leader. Fair point. And the final one I've got for you, uh, assuming these, market, these ropes were not part of the market, you couldn't get your hands on them for $70 or so $65.90, is the Rogue S2 Blue Six Jump worth, worth the price tag? Look, it does everything it's, it, it says it's going to do. So, I mean, you can't fault them for that. But it, like I said, if you are the most expensive, and I don't know of a rope more expensive than this on the market, you're gonna want the best performing like rope on the market. I mean, if you buy Viagra and get a shitty you know, um, replica drug and it just doesn't do the same but charges you more, you're probably not gonna be so happy. Um, there you go. So, yeah, look, good rope, but at the price point, I think, you, could, you can find better. Well, there you go, guys. And if you'd like to find out the full reviews on all these products, they're all on our website, therxview.com. For now, though, skip your battle. Jumping! <laughs> Let's get a beer on it. I'll beat you in 100 for time.